and Jim Bessie will get you through it. There is nothing hard about it. Come on, children, let's get to it. Come and do your mathematics now. Hello, I'm Bob Bear, but everyone calls me Daddy Bear. You can call me that too. I grow flowers. I have a flower business. I sell flowers to my neighbors and friends. I also sell flowers at the market. It's a lot of work, but my wife and children help me. Ah, let me introduce you to my family. This is my daughter, Bessie Bear, and my son, Benji Bear. <laughs> and this is my wife, Betty Bear. She loves doing housework. Hello. Uh, Benji Bear, how many marbles are there in this hole? Uh, there are one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten marbles, Daddy Bear. Good bear. And uh, how many would you have left if I take away one, two, three, four, five marbles? Five, Daddy Bear. Five. There will be five marbles left. Yes, that's right. Okay, have fun playing chonka. Daddy Bear, Bessie Bear and Benji Bear are getting better and better at mathematics. They can even do subtraction now. That's wonderful, isn't it? But... There's still much for them to learn about subtraction. Yes, Daddy Bear. I think you should teach them to state all possible pairs of numbers with a difference equal to a given number. Yes, and I think they will also need to recall rapidly the difference between two numbers. Yes. And I'll teach them to solve simple problems in real-life situations. Yes, that would be good too. Hmm, what a beautiful day. Okay, you two, sit down if you are ready to learn more about subtraction. Yeah! <laughs> Let's see. I have five ice creams, right? Right! How many ice creams would I have to take away from this group so that I would still have five ice creams? Hey, I can't erase any of them. Do you know what that means? It means that I cannot take any of the ice creams away. If I did, then I would... So, I can take nothing out of the group. Zero. This means that if we subtract zero from a number, the number will remain unchanged. Okay, now I have six lollipops. How many should I take away so that there would be five lollipops left? I know, I know. There are six, but you only want five of them to remain. 
So you have to take away one lollipop. Now you have one, two, three, four, five. Five lollipops left, Daddy Bear. Let's check and see. Correct. So six take away one is five. I can also say it as the difference between six and one is five. Oh. Okay, this one is for Benji Bear. There are seven rainbows, right? Right. How many must I minus from seven to get five rainbows? Let's see. Daddy Bear wants the balance to be five, so I'll take away uh, two of them. Then I have to take away two rainbows from the seven rainbows, so that there will only be five left. Let's check that. Yes, the difference between seven and two is five. Children, do you know what I'm trying to do? I'm teaching you to state all possible pairs of numbers with a difference equal to a given number. And the given number here is five. In other words, all our answers have to be five. Let's continue. Now I have eight balloons. The difference between these eight balloons and another number is five. What is that number? I can subtract that, Daddy Bear. Look, this is eight. Now, to get five as a difference, I will have to take away a three. So, eight minus three is five. Let's check your answer. Well done! Eight and three are the pair of numbers that will give us a difference of five, which is the given number. Okay, just two more to go. There are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine Malaysian flags. The difference is the given number five. So, how many flags should we take away from 9 to get 5? And the answer is... Mm, 4. Yes, 9 take away 4 is 5. And finally, how many rubber ducks are there, Benji Bear? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6... Seven, eight, nine, ten. Yes, ten rubber ducks. Now, the given number is... Mm, five. So, I'll have to minus five from ten to get the difference of five, which is the given number. All right, enough of mathematics. Let's go and pick flowers to sell at the market tomorrow. Yeah, yeah let's, let's go. go. Ah, that was a lot of work. I'm glad that the two of you helped out. Thank you. You're welcome, Daddy Bear. It was fun picking flowers. Okay, I'm really thirsty. Let's go in and have something to drink. And we'll continue work after that. What beautiful flowers! All cut and ready! Hmm, I bet they will brighten up my room! 
<laughs> I know what I'll do. I'll take a, uh, I mean, borrow a few. I'm sure the bears won't miss them. Okay, I'll take one from here. And two from here. And three from here. And four from here. Let's take the flowers into the house to pack them. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Hmm? One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh oh, Daddy Bear, there are only six flowers here, not seven. Are you sure? Yes, I counted them twice. Oh dear, I think we'd better count all of them to see if any more flowers are missing. One, One two, two, three, four, three, four, three, four, three, four, five, four, six, five, three, five, four, six, five, five, six, six, five, six. There should be eight, but there are only six. The bucket says nine, but I counted only six. It's the same here. There should be ten in this bucket, but there are only six. Oh, oh no. no! Our, Our flowers, flowers are, are missing. 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 Huh? Missing. 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 Huh? What happened? Is everything all right? Some of the flowers that Daddy Bear wants to sell at the market tomorrow are missing. Oh dear. Mm, this sounds familiar. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, Tom Tiger, let me explain. You see, we had five buckets of flowers. The first bucket had six flowers in it. The second had seven flowers. The third had eight flowers. The fourth had nine flowers. And the fifth had ten flowers in it. We then left the buckets here and went into our house for a drink. And when we came out again, we found some flowers missing. Ah, oh, I see. Do you know how many are missing? Well, no flowers are missing from the first bucket because there are still six flowers in it. So, zero flowers were taken away. In other words, if we subtract zero from a number, the number will remain unchanged. That's why we still have six flowers left. Ah, oh, I see. Oh, she is so smart. I'm sure she takes after me. Oh, my little Bessie Bear. She is so intelligent. She must take after me. The second bucket had seven flowers in it. But when we completed them again, there were only six left. So, one flower is missing because... Seven take away one is six. So, the difference is six. Go on, Bessie Bear. Okay, now the third bucket had eight flowers in it. Then we found only six in it. So, two flowers are missing because eight minus two is equal to six. Hmm, again, the difference is six. Okay, now there were nine flowers in the fourth bucket. But when we counted them again, there were only six. So, three flowers were taken from this group because the difference between nine and three is six. That's strange. 
Again, the difference between that pair of numbers is six. Is that it? No, I haven't told you about the fifth bucket yet. Go on, I'm listening. Okay, thank you, Tom Tiger. We cut ten flowers and put them in the fifth bucket. But when we checked, there were only... Aha! Uh -huh. Let me guess. Six? Exactly. So, the number that can be paired with ten to get a difference of six is four. Wow! Where did you learn all that, Bessie Bear? Well, actually, I... Having a party or something? Can I join in? Well, well, well. Fendi Fox, of course you can. But before that, would you know anything about some missing flowers? Uh, you mean the flowers that I borrowed? Uh, here they are. I just took them home to admire them. Hope you don't mind. Yay! We are proud of you, Fanny Fox. You did the right thing. You mean taking, uh, borrowing the flowers? No, for giving the flowers back. Well... I guess that's settled then. I'll be on my way. Good day. Bye, Bye Tom, Tom Tiger. Tiger. Uh, I better go too. Just a moment, Fendi. Here, these are for you. For me? Really? Wow! Oh, thank you! Thank you! <laughs> <laughs> what a day! Let's go inside. Benji Bear, what's five takeaway two? Three! Good! Bessie Bear, what is six minus four? Two! Good! Your turn, Benji Bear. What is the difference between four and three? One! Good. Bessie Bear, what is the difference between nine and four? Five. Good. Back to Benji. How many is eight minus one? Seven. Good. And the last question. Bessie Bear, what is... 10 take away 6 equal to 4 Well done! I'm so proud of you!
Day, and I'm sure you're ready for Mummy Bear's end of the day test. Yes! Okay, Bessie Bear, this one is for you. A bear goes to the market and buys four fish. She gives two of the fish to her neighbor. How many fish does she have left? She would have two fish left, Mummy Bear, because four take away two is two. Very good. Here's your question, Benji Bear. There are eight apple pies on a plate. A little bear eats three of them. How many pies would remain on the plate? That would be eight minus three, and that is equal to five. Am I right, Mummy Bear? Yes, Benji Bear, that's correct. Bessie Bear, here's another question for you. There are 10 bears traveling in a bus to town. At the first stop, 5 bears get off the bus. How many bears are left on the bus? Hmm, there are 10 bears on the bus. 5 of them get off. So, there should be 5 bears left on the bus. That's because the difference between 10 and 5 is 5. Yes, that's right. Well done, both of you. Well, I have cut a few more flowers to replace the ones Mummy Bear gave to Fendi Fox. I've also finished packing them and they are ready to be sold at the market tomorrow. Daddy Bear? Can Benji Bear and I help you sell flowers at the market tomorrow? Hmm, not tomorrow, my dears. Why not? Because you are not ready yet. You will have to learn how to recognize and use Malaysian coins and notes. And you must also learn how to add and subtract coins up to 1 ringgit and notes up to 10 ringgit. I will also have to show you how to exchange coins and notes. Only then will you be able to help out in the market. But when will you teach us? And when will we be able to go with you to the market, Daddy Bear? Tomorrow. I will teach you about money tomorrow. And you and Bessie Bear can go with me on my next trip to the market. Okay, children? Okay, okay Daddy, Daddy Bear. Bear. So, don't forget to join us in the next episode. See you soon. Bye.